what you need to know about the Tangerine State Land Rezoning. On August 28th, the pro-development mayor and three council members were voted out of office. Less than 24 hours later, 16 yellow signs were placed on 885 acres of state trust land to announce meetings for proposed land development near the intersection of Tangerine and Thornydale Roads. As you can see on this map, the properties are located on the west end of Oro Valley and bounded by Moore Road on the north, Camino del Norte on the south, Coyote Crossing and Shannon Road on the east, and Thornydale Road on the west. The Tangerine Crossing community in Marana, designated by the red arrow, has 6,000 square foot lot sizes but all the other homes surrounding the state land are large lot horse properties from one to three or more acres. This map depicts 11 development units laid out to allow a variety of residential housing or commercial on each one. North of Tangerine, the proposed use is single family residential with minimum lot sizes of only 5,500 square feet, which will allow blading of the land. Other areas within the two properties could be built with commercial, single family homes, five story apartments, condominiums, or townhouses for a grand total of 3,205 living units. What happened to our general plan? Does this massive development sound like managed growth? Does it preserve our scenic beauty and environment? Promote conservation of our natural resources? No, it's all about the money. State Land's mission is to maximize the revenue potential for its beneficiaries, which is schools in this instance. So once satisfactory zoning is achieved with Oro Valley, the land will be sold to the highest bidder or bidders at a public auction, and it will be annexed into Oro Valley. Why is this important to you? Because it's all cost and limited benefit. These residents aren't going to drive all the way into Oro Valley to shop regularly. They'll shop in Marana. So the minimal sales tax revenue we might gain will be overshadowed by the cost to provide police, road maintenance, schools, water, and flood control. So what can you do to ensure the rezoning is revised so it's compatible with adjacent properties and isn't crammed with tracked homes on small lots? Go to the upcoming meetings. Learn more about the process and voice your questions or concerns. Don't let state land call the shots. This is our town and we just voted to have a voice in it. Let's all do our part to keep Oro Valley special.